Hello, my name is Galina Kurdina. I live in Toronto, Ontario, Canada. I am a victim of psychotronic mind control weapons. I would like to talk about Rohini by Cesar today. Uh, this is a young woman uh, who killed another young woman at the end of um, 2015, in December 2015, in a shopper's drug mart in Toronto. Uh, we found information about her uh, in media, in newspapers. Uh, this woman claimed that she was a victim of mind control influence, that um, actually it wasn't she who committed this crime, uh, she was forced to do it. And uh, we decided to contact her. Uh, uh, I sent her, uh, I and other com uh, people from our community. Uh, we sent her several letters to the Veneer Center for Women in Milton, near Toronto. And uh, she responded me. I would like to read you the first letter from her. Uh, Dear Galina, nice to see you in... Oh, sorry, this is the second. Uh, just um, a little bit from this uh, letter. Dear Galina, thank you for your information on psychotronic organization. I think I have what you wrote about. Can you visit me at the near Center for Women and tell me how you can help me? How can you test me for what you are talking about? Can you find a lawyer who will take on my case and use your help to prove my innocence? Uh, I came to the Veneer Center twice. Uh, I saw her twice and talked to her twice. Of course, I found uh, specialists in the United States of America who were ready to come to Toronto and examine her uh, with their equipment. Unfortunately, it wasn't uh, free of charge and uh, she didn't respond to these uh, offers. I mean, Rohini didn't respond to these offers. We did our best to find uh, a lawyer for her. Uh, actually, uh, she herself uh, changed several lawyers. And the last one, uh, Mr. Karras, or Karras, um, in my opinion, uh, didn't work for her, but mostly against her. I saw him all the time with prosecutor, so uh, it seemed to me that he uh, was in such close contact with prosecution that maybe he worked for prosecution, not for uh, his client more. Um, after that, I received another letter from Rohini uh, in December 2017. The first letter was uh, in 2016. The second letter. Dear Galina, nice to see you in court. I am at CAMH, um, this is a psychiatric hospital in Toronto, for 60 days to get treatment. Um, I hope they will help here. I keep preparing for my next court date. I will propose a plan to, uh, of treatment to detect any foreign technologies. Please feel free to visit to discuss developments. I am looking to, uh, to find out what the technology, chips, interfaces, um, transistors are made of and how to detect them. Can you look up such information? Uh, if you come, we can speak more. Thank you. Of course, I visited her in KMH, in the psychiatric hospital, and uh, we discussed uh, that um, members of our organization and other targeted individuals, victims of mind control influence, uh, could testify for her uh, in the Superior Court of Justice. I even asked people to uh, send me their testimonies in writing. I sent uh, several registered letters to Rohini because uh, when letters were not registered, they were destroyed. She didn't receive them, so I spent money and uh, registered these letters. I sent her uh, this, uh, copies of these testimonies and um, just reminded her that we uh, were ready to testify for her. 
and so on. Uh, unfortunately, she didn't respond in 2018, and uh, there was a trial. Uh, the first, uh, how to say, pre-trial uh, was only, as I can remember, uh, let me double check, uh, it was on the 29th of October. I saw that Truhini was broken and uh, she admitted uh, herself schizophrenic. She didn't claim uh, that she was affected by mind control technologies and uh, had implants in her body anymore. Uh, as soon as she uh, started admitting that she was just schizophrenic and nothing more, her defender and uh, psychiatrist testified uh, that she was adequate, rational, coherent, and fit for trial. When she claimed that she uh, was a victim of mind control and had chips in her body, they did all possible to present her as unfit. Uh, her de uh, defender, uh, Mr. Karas, uh, testified in the court that she was unable to provide him with clear directions when she uh, claimed that she was uh, a victim of uh, uh, psychotronic weapons and had implants in her body and asked to find specialists and uh, do examinations to find these uh, implants in her body. Uh, she was unfit for trial, but as soon as she admitted that she was just a schizophrenic, she all of a sudden, miraculously, she became fit. Furthermore, uh, when she claimed that she was uh, a victim of mind control, judge banned all media publications. Okay, uh, the next court hearing was on the 2nd of no November this year. Uh, after uh, this court hearing, uh, when psychiatrist from KMH, psychiatric hospital, Dr. Sweze, testified that she was schizophrenic. I approached uh, this uh, expert, Dr. Sweze, and uh, said to him that uh, brain-machine interface, implants, chips are not delusion nowadays. Uh, all this real uh, information is in public sources. Uh, I referred to, uh, him to uh, Brain Machine Projects on the DARPA official website. I talked to him about Neural Lace Project of uh, Elon Musk. Um, I talked to him about different scientific articles. Sorry, I have to interrupt, sorry. Sorry for the interruption. As usual, when I do something very important, uh, anything, something happens, uh, phone calls or uh, delivery, uh, uh, when I do not uh, wait for any delivery. Sorry about that. Uh, so, uh, one more time. Uh, I talked to Dr. Sweze that Brain Machine Projects, uh, Brain Machine Interface Implants and Chips are not delusion that they are real and all this information in public uh, are, is in public sources he answered to me that uh, in his opinion google is a bullshit uh, he will never read all these documents uh, he will never go to official uh, website of darpa uh, he claimed that he didn't believe in brain machine uh, interface and chips uh, after that, I approached journalists uh, who uh, won this hearing in the Superior Court of Justice and said to them that such an expert, uh, such a negligent, ignorant and criminal doctor cannot, cannot be an expert in this serious murder process and asked them to write about this, but they did not say anything to me. Uh, I found Rohini's brother as well explained to him that, in my opinion, Rohini uh, was and um, maybe still is influenced by mind control weapons 
and is actually another victim in this court process. Um, as you know, uh, Rohini was pronounced criminally, uh, not criminally responsible for this crime, for this murder. Um, in my opinion, uh, most likely there was a deal between uh, uh, prosecution, uh, defendant, Mr. Karas, and Rohini. Uh, it is very possible that uh, they offered her, they said to her, if you insist that you are a victim of mind control, you will spend the next 25 years in prison. But if you admit that uh, uh, you are just schizophrenic, you will be pronounced uh, not criminally responsible and uh, most likely very possible uh, released soon. Uh, as I understood uh, from media, uh, she, uh, after the trial she was placed in some psychiatric hospital or psychiatric organization and her destiny uh, will be decided later. Thank you for your attention. Bye.